Well, 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 well. Who could see this coming then? Uh, I did. Time Bandits, counselled by Apple TV Plus after one season. Now, this show was an absolute train wreck from the start. Terry Gillen walked off the set because he was so annoyed and so pissed off with what they were doing to his legacy, um, his story, Time Bandits. Time Bandits has got a massive, huge following. It's a beloved film. It's a classic and it's still loved today. It's one of those films that can still make you laugh. It's got horror elements to it. It's got great characters and it's got a great human story to it. And people love it. Terry Gilliam did a fantastic job of it. And Taiki Watiti, who did this one, whatever his name is, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, took a big steaming crap on Terry Gilliam's legacy. I'm not surprised it's got counselled. I am not surprised. Uh, I watched one episode of this and that was, I was so like, oh my God, this is so bad. It is so, so, so bad. Firstly, the humour was so crap in it. The boy, really, really, really annoying. The characters in this just seem to be placed all over the place. You know, if you want to call them the Time Bandits, they weren't the Time Bandits whatsoever. Um, these characters that are introduced to it, who are time travellers, uh, with Lisa Kudrow, they had no charismatic energy to them. Lisa Kudrow just didn't want to be there. She, In my opinion, she just didn't look like she wanted to be there. I love Lisa Kudrow. She's a great actress and she was wasted in this. She just didn't look like she wanted to be in it. She looked bored. The story was rubbish, Tahiti Watiti's. Um, playing God, he was so annoying, absolutely so annoying. That actor is so up his own ass that he loves himself. He absolutely loves himself. I used to like him, but I just don't know. I just can't stand him. You know, the other side to where I I hated is what made the original so fantastic and so funny. Um was the actors from the original you know little people actors you know um dwarfs and all that stuff they they were just nothing they were just side characters pushed into the corner because tighty what it he came out and said he didn't want to insult people and i was like what i looked that up and it was basically what they were saying is that in the world that people we are in now that people get too upset if you say anything and, they, and all these producers and writers and directors don't want to insult people. If you look at some... Oh, um, I think it was Aliens the other day and it appeared on TV. Before it started, this big lettering came up, text. Um, this a film may offence people with outdated beliefs and words and all that. And I thought, I, I don't want to see that. What, what is outdated in that in that? In that film, what's outdated? I don't get it. I don't get why people are so upset by all of that. If you can explain to me in the comments, that would be brilliant. I get sm some uh, small elements of things. But I just think people, in producers, directors and writers and some people themselves just want to complain about anything. And I think that's the reason why they're kind of saying we don't want to offend people. But I'm kind of feeling it's an excuse to make just rubbish and this is what this show was it was absolutely rubbish it was it was crap um i my friend came over and she was like oh should we watch an episode i was like Cause she's a fan of time bandits and i was like oh do we have to so i put one episode on and we were cringing all the way through it 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 made me feel oh like i, I needed a big poop <laughs> It was one of the episodes where the kid and he's and he, they go back in time and he's got to make all these characters in the past fall asleep and he's going da 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 history and I wanted to punch him because it was so annoying and, and I feel bad for the actor. It's not his fault. I'm sure he's a great actor, but his character was so annoying. So because maybe it's because the story itself was was so badly written and it was so let's do this, let's do that. The comedy just didn't work in this. Like, each character had this kind of very dead comical line to say. And it just never went anywhere. Like, the special effects were just 
some are all right, but God Almighty. So you keep watching it, he's playing God. He was so bad. The guy who played, you know, the devil, he was so bad. Oh, God, it was so annoying. And I just couldn't stand the producers or directors behind this because it was a travesty. Um, and then my mate says, should we watch... Shall we try and watch another episode to see if it gets any better? When it won't, so we watched half of an episode. And we went, oh my God, just turn it off, turn it off quick. And we had to put something else on. I think it was Police Academy that we put on. And I just think, I just think, why, why, why do you keep remaking stuff? But not just remaking it, but pulling your pants down and taking a big dump because that's what, Taiki Watiti and whatever his name is. I keep saying whatever his name is. If that's pronounced wrong, please let me know. Um, but he, they took the pants down and it's it's almost like saying to Terry Gillen, we don't care. We do not care about your, your legacy, your beloved film, Time Bandits. We don't care. We've got so much money to burn that we don't care. We're going to do this and do and this and this with diverse characters. No, we're not going to give the characters that made the original so fantastically great. The screen time that they're going to get is in the back. You know, little people pushing the back. That's an insult, like I said in my last review to Time Bandit. That's an insult. These characters were so boring. You put these characters in that uh, just were kind of very diverse characters. No substance. Not character driven, no emotional attachment to anything but being there in the screen for a few seconds and saying blah de blah 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 like that kid. And I, I feel bad for Lisa Kudrow. I like you know, Terry Gillen walking off set. I would have loved to have seen that. And I bet anything he's clapping at this, you know, thinking, good. He saw it coming, he saw it coming miles away thousand miles he knew what was going to happen he knew his name is not attached to it he doesn't want to be attached to this pile of rubbish and i'm glad it got cancelled i hope it's lost lots of money the reason for that is maybe it will give them some time to think and kind of go right it has lost lots of money what happened how can we change this to make it better how can we give the fans because as soon as you get a classic film or TV series and remake it and place the title on that production, you are going to have the original fans in there seeing what you're doing. Like Beetlejuice 2, I, I went to see it, I loved it, great film. Uh, they use elements from the first one, they took little bits out, they didn't copy and paste, they knew what they were doing, they made a different story, but they made it very, very good. Is it as good as the first one? No, but it's still great. It comes very close to it, but it's great to see Tim Burton come back. Great to see Michael Keaton, uh, Catherine O'Hara. But this show is, I did see it coming. I saw it was going to get counseled, and it has. And I'm glad. Tiki Watiti in this was absolutely boring as hell. I can't stand him because he just doesn't listen to people. He doesn't listen to the fans. Apparently he didn't listen to Terry Gillum who was trying to give him advice. He just that's why Terry Gillum walked off set. When he saw what they were doing, he just walked off set and to uh, to what it apparently anyway, just was like, I don't care. I don't care what you think. And you should do. He was the creator of that film. You should care. You should be honourable to be able to have such a a, a great producer, director, actor on board. Did what you did, you made a crap show. There are people who like it out there, the majority, if you look at the reviews, they are bad. Apple TV on the YouTube channel has removed all the comments off from the last time I looked. And that says that Apple TV aren't happy with this. They don't like it, they counseled it. They don't want anything to do with it. And I'm not surprised, it is a pile of rubbish. What do you guys think? Are you glad? Do you think it will send a message to these producers and the directors out there to say, stop making classics unless you're going to do it right? You know, I, I don't get why all of this changing characters for the sake of it to not upset people. You, you removed what made the original brilliant. 
and you put these characters in that was so boring very forgettable not funny and it was just like i said crap rubbish 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 hollywood needs to listen to the fan base if they're gonna get a classic film or tv show and remake it they need to do it right from the start they need to get writers in there they need to get people with a good brain cells to kind of say right what are we going to do here let's get the original guy in terry gilliam like for example sit down listen to him and go ahead but they didn't they just just shoved the guy aside apparently terry gilliam is an absolute legend and tahiki watiti should be ashamed of himself don't like him can't stand him i don't don't recall anyone really liking him Anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.